Twing Band is a great uh, training aid, teaching aid, if you will, that uh, Colby Hoffman, one of the lead instructors at my Hank Haney International Junior Golf Academy, came up with. And, uh, you know, he, he really kind of identified a, a need with a, you know, trying to give students the correct feel uh, for what you want them to do is, is one of the hardest things that teachers can do. And, and uh, he, he kind of invented the swing band and, and uh, tested it out. And, and then the next thing you know, he's come up with a, a great product that can help all golfers. Probably the most important fundamental without a doubt in golf is the grip. I mean, your hands are, are your primary control over the club face, and the club face controls which way your golf ball is going to curve. So you can't pay too much attention to your grip. Most amateurs just kind of slap their hands on the club, and they're lucky if they stay in the same place that they started. But a professional really takes his time. He takes his time putting one hand on the club at a time, the left hand, then the right hand, and they check it every time to make sure that it's just exactly right. I mean, if your club face is off just a degree or two, it has a huge impact on which way your, your golf ball is going to curve, obviously, and how much it's going to curve. So the grip is, is so important. You start always, hopefully, with a, with a neutral grip, but there's slight adjustments that people might make in their, in their grip if they have a particular ball flight mistake. But Colby's showing us the, the correct grip here. Um, obviously, you're using the swing band. It, it, it keeps your hands together nicely on the golf club. Yeah, it sure does. I mean, you can tell if you have a, a real strong grip or real weak grip, it, it really makes your wrist sit with the right, uh, the right hinge there or the right amount of bend there in the, in the back of each right. wrist. Right, so when you set up to the ball, there's just a little bit of an angle there. You know, some people are trying to, to push their hands into this position here, but, but there should be just a little bit of a, of a cup there, if you will, because your weight's just even on your feet. I mean, when you swing the club, you're going to you're gonna transfer your weight to your left side, and then your hands are going to be forward a little more, and when they are, then your left wrist is going to be hopefully flat at impact. But at a dress, there's just a little bit of a, of a bend there. Um, you've got a nice neutral grip there. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, that's what you're looking for. The better your swing, the, the better you want your grip to be, and and, and if you want to have a, a great swing, you kind of usually need to start with a, with a really good grip. Um, some people will adjust their hands just slightly on the club where, where they'll turn you know, a little more to the right. Um, you know, with the swing band, you're seeing that the, the green is moving over to the right a little bit more. That's a little stronger grip. The reason they do that is, is that it helps them as they come through to, to kind of feel some more rotation as they come through. If they had a tendency to slice the ball a lot to the right, sometimes they'll have a, just a, a slightly stronger grip. Or if you have a tendency to hook the ball too much, you might want just a, just a little bit weaker grip. And, and, you know, a good way to check is you always take the swing band, put the, the green mark right in the middle for your neutral grip, and then you can tell if I want to adjust it just a little weaker, I'll turn it over there, give me just a little slightly different look, or a little bit more to the right gives you a little bit stronger grip, just a little different look as well with the green going off to the right there. But the, uh, the, the grip is obviously, you know, so important. When you, when you talk about, you know, the, the grip, it's not just, you know, whether your hands are neutral or not, but it's your grip pressure. And when you have your, your hands on the club, I think the, the swing band really gives you the feeling that you're keeping both hands together, doesn't it? Yeah, it sure does, Hank. I mean, the, the thing that's great about having consistent grip pressure is even at the top, you can see a lot of people are worried about overswinging. And while that's not the, the most, the, that's not the biggest problem in golf, but uh, it sure, a lot of people definitely work on that. But this keeps your, your club from overswinging there, from, prevents you from loosening your grip. Yeah, you let go at the top and, and, and you know, then you re-grip it. And when you re-grip it, you know, you don't grip it the same way that you had at the, at the first. So, so you want to keep constant grip pressure. And, and keep your hands together. You want to feel your hands staying together so that they're really just one unit and the, your right hand is pressed down on your left thumb. And, and the swing band is kind of pushing down a little bit just to remind you of that. But you always want to make sure you, you get the correct grip, you keep the a consistent grip pressure, not too tight, uh, not too light, and then always check it. You know, holding the club up like Colby's doing here is a good way just to check your grip. Once you get that, that grip right, then you know, you've got the most important fundamental in golf you know, that, that's gonna be working in your favor instead of against you.